Let's go. <laughs> Bro, why why is he riding a beer? I watched this video multiple times and I still can't tell who is the narcissist in the situation. When you're dealing with narcissistic people, they have a talent of making you look like the crazy one. In this situation, she looks like the crazy one, but you never know what he has done for her to get to this point, vice versa. It could be a situation where she was doing a whole bunch of stuff and he's trying to figure out how to communicate with her and she blow up on him like this. We don't know the backstory. We need more context. But I'm pretty sure my shift gets, I get off early. Get the zombie screen. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna be honest with you, Dad. This, not a talent. Nor is it a laughing matter. As a matter of fact. Hold on. No offense, my brother. I know you finna go into something real deep, and I don't. Why she sounded like the Call of Duty zombie? Hey, let me ask y'all a question. I'm about to get real immature. What if you 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 clapping some cheeks and you know the point the point of climax comes upon the two of y'all and her climax sound like that? What are you doing? What would I do? There's an Atlanta themed restaurant in the heart of downtown, and it is so on brand for Atlanta. You have to try it. I was a little skeptical when we first walked up because the area, but the cook was outside. She was so personable. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's called Wafale House. They even have valet. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. She better be trying to be funny. This heifer said Wafale House. She better be trying to be funny. I'm not going to lie. Waffle House, my favorite restaurant in the A2, but <sighs> I'm going to let you continue. Parking, the man was a little sketchy, um, and they had trouble finding my car after, but it's okay. They even had an outside part where you had to order outside. You couldn't even come in the restaurant. It was so exclusive. The glass was bulletproof. Um, I love how they protect their workers. The inside just felt so nostalgic for some reason. I loved it. They had Atlanta culture music playing, so of course we had to dance. Something that was like, ah, oh, bow, bow, something like that. And uh, then we even... Uh, uh, uh. Love it all in the mountain. Oh, so, uh, 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 all in the mouth. I don't know all the words, but I know what song she's talking about. I got to meet a real life, I don't want to say it, but bless his heart. We're going to pray for him. Um, the food was so amazing. 10 out of 10. If the chef is not outside to greet you, then the food probably won't be good. So keep that in mind because they do no. have multiple locations. No. But our chef came and left a message for you guys. <laughs> you know, oh, what you doing? <laughs> Make sure you find... There's an Let me tell you something. If you go to Waffle House in the A or you go to IHOP in the A, 
if your chef don't look like he just got out, your food gonna be trash. I'm just letting you know right now. If your chef don't look like he on probation, or better yet, parole, your food gonna be trash. Ooh. So apparently her friend uploaded this video and she now single. I don't think her friend did that on accident though. I believe her friend was actually ready for some real and it made her mad to see her friend do a man dirty for no reason when she could have just been single. Now a lot of people who would cheat just like this lady did would argue that that lady is not a real friend. But she not even real to her damn self so what's mm. there she being held to I don't know. Mm. Women think men are the problem just like men think women are the problem and they don't even realize that both people are the problem because it's a lot of negative men and women who still want positivity just like the rest of us. Matter of fact they need it more than us. Bro he's spitting bars. He's spitting bars. From doing these videos, a lot of y'all are blaming each other. Men are blaming women. Women are blaming men. But yo, both y'all the problem. So they're going to do everything it takes to be first in line. The women will use their body because they know that's what men like. And the men will use their money because they know that's what women like. Y'all need to understand that the only reason people do this is because they're trying to manipulate their way into an opportunity. Or they don't think they're good enough. So they do what they know you're going to like to try to get a chance. The problem that most men and women with good intentions have is that they will look at the people with good intentions as somebody that's not applying enough pressure because they talking to you like a fucking human. They not promising you bull. They not flashing their money or their body. They approaching you because they want to actually get to know you. Ain't no reason to act like they so in love with you and they don't fucking know nothing about you but your body or what you got to show. But people seem to not understand that y'all so impressed with this. Like it's so hard to get. Anybody can go to Dr. Miami. Anybody can go get an extra job or invest in something and become rich. But y'all glorify it's so much, y'all will ruin y'all entire relationships. Whatever path y'all on, y'all destroy it. It don't matter. I need y'all to do me a favor. Subscribe to my YouTube, Planet Reality, because my need to start living in the real world. Yo. That was so real. That was so real. He said a lot in, in them 15 seconds. I do feel as though we need to stop blaming each other and start looking into ourselves. Because it's a lot of... I see a hair complain about women, but you a cheater, bro. You want a chick to be wifey material, but you not ready to settle down. What's the point of her being submissive to you if you don't plan on making her a wife? Vice versa, a lot of y'all females, y'all want, you want him to be husband material, but you don't plan on acting like a wife. You don't plan on being a wife. You don't plan on only talking to this man. You want this man to be hubby material, you want this man to pay your bills, you want this man to provide for you, but at the same time, he's not the only one you talking to. You got a backup plan. Let me tell you something, if you coming into a situation with a backup plan, that means that you don't plan on giving your current situation your all. Bruh, god damn it, let me, let me get this off my chest, man. All right, y'all can call this over alpha maleness, toxic masculinity, I don't give a bro, there's three things. Fool wise that men should not be asking they fucking bro to do if there's no women or females involved, all right? One, do not, if I'm your bro, do not ask me, let's go get brunch. Can we go get brunch? We're not babies. We're dogs. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. That's a fact. I'm about to be sitting at no fucking table with no women there, just the homies, and you order mimosas, I'm going to slap the dog. <laughs> now, Two, oysters. Men should not be going to grab oysters with another. Man, bro, I don't want to see paws suck, slurp, and turn out of a shell, bro. It's an aphrodisiac. I don't give a I mean, Facts. ask him, please be slapped with me asking me to get oysters Facts. with you, my mans. Three, sushi. Women go get sushi together. Make you eat sushi. Facts. I'm not going to get sushi with you. Two niggas sitting there holding control and chopsticks. That shit is weird. Facts. Bro, God. I know he was talking about food, but one thing I'm going to add is going for a walk. You my mans, you not supposed to act. Yo, bro, I, I'm not feeling good. Let's go for a walk. I don't care, folk. We can't go for no walks. Sushi, I don't eat sushi. Uh, I don't. Eat, I definitely don't eat oysters. I don't see how y'all be eating these critters, but then be having the audacity to be scared of roaches and be disgusted by roaches. How you eating shrimp, but a, a shrimp is damn near the roach of the sea. Make it make sense to me. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't think we'll ever see a shooter as great as Stephen Curry in our lifetime. Bro's just different. <laughs> Silence. Silence. Victor Wimbanyama, Anthony Edwards. No, them young dudes are the future faces of the NBA for sure. Silence. More silence. LeBron, oh my gosh, bro. Here we go. 
LeBron James. Damn, is, bro, you ain't embarrassed? Yo, you a grown man. And LeBron James bro, is all y'all do is glaze this man. Damn, Krispy Kreme. Dunking both nuts. Dunking both nuts. You ain't nuts. tired, bro? Your throat don't hurt? Get off your knees and zipping that man's pants back up. See, this is why I hate you, Bron Sec. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. LeBron James is the greatest NBA player ever. I don't care what you say. I don't give a rat's ass what you say. LeBron James is the greatest basketball player ever. And I'm upset at myself because I didn't realize LeBron's greatness until his second time coming back to play for the Cavaliers, bro. I used to be a LeBron hater. And the reason I used to be a LeBron hater was, you know, I played 2K a lot. Y'all remember when LeBron was on the Heat? Everybody and their mother was using the Heat. And I, I used to be like, yo, bro, like, this nigga's a cheat code. Like, ah, I hate that. Yo. Then LeBron came back and was playing for the Cavs. And I'm watching this man play. And the effort he was putting in. And when I go out here on these streets, they talking about he trash. I'm like, hold on. Did we not just watch this game? You watched this game last night and said he was trash? Then I started going back. I never paid attention to LeBron like that. When I was in high school, when he played for the Cavs the first time, his first couple of years in the league, I never played attention to LeBron like that, bro. I started going back all the way to 2003, 2004, and I'm watching these seasons, and I'm like, yo, this nigga's the truth. This man is about to be 40, and he's still giving the league buckets.